Hi, this is Bob Pellerin, CTO Bob, and today we'll be doing something a little different. We'll be looking at a way of providing energy for a battery. So if you have a, basically an embarkation with a 12 volt battery and you need to continually charge it, you have access to solar panels that are quite light now, and you should be able to put one directly in the boat and keep charging it while there's sun. So with that in mind, uh, I ordered a kit basically. I, I selected wires and a controller and a solar power, uh, panel rather, and want to show you what that looks like. We'll go ahead and put a list of all the components that we've uh, demonstrated today and we'll put it in the description. And um, let's go ahead and open this. By the way, if you like these videos, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing, that really helps us out. Let's go ahead and open this. And again, this is very, very light. This is a 50 watt power solar panel, excuse me, I keep wanting to say power supply. And what's really nice about this is the fact that it is super flexible. So what you've got here is something that feels like plastic and it is somewhat flexible. I mean, you can bend it and it produces 50. So what you do is you have uh, the two sides that will plug in to here. And you also will notice that there's some holes here where you can attach things. So in case there is wind, it doesn't blow off. So you could set this. And of course we have a, a robot here just to show you what kind of size this is. And if you were to put it into the rowboat, you could easily set it down right there on in the boat and just power, basically uh, recharge the battery as it is sunny. Now, what else will you need in here? So uh, first thing you'll notice is you need to plug in these wires. So what you'll do is you want to get yourself uh, some wires and you can select the length of these wires. You can also get these in red and black, so it's easier to know which side is positive and negative. In, these, in this case, I got two that were the same color. And so this will plug into here and the other side will go into the controller. So let's take a look at the controller. In this case, what I did is I, I selected one that is waterproof. And so this will certainly help. Let's go ahead and open this. And so this is a 20 ampere unit. Just gonna, there's a bit of wind, so I'm just gonna make sure that I don't lose any components. There's some screws in here as well. And I haven't quite decided if I'm going to put this controller permanently in the boat or if I'm gonna put it on a piece of maybe plywood and uh, connect it all. So, all right. The setup is quite simple. Let's take a quick look here. So what you see is the top and there really is nothing off of the sides. There's a piece of rubber here that just fell off. And there's nothing on the sides or the top or the bottom. What you do see in the back though, are the connectors so you'll have basically power coming in it should be identified actually it is identified on the bottom here so what you do see is solar plus minus battery plus and minus and there's a temperature sensor on the bottom and there's this little piece of rubber here that will go and prevent water from touching it uh, i don't know how good that's going to be but uh, in theory this is on the bottom so we'll have to see how well that works out in the longer term. Uh, once, so once you have this connected to the controller, what I had in mind is basically to set up, because you now need to go and connect it to the battery. And in order to be able to plug and unplug quickly, hopefully it won't lose things here into the water. I'm on a dock. So what I've come up with is this idea of just putting this to the controller and having an, something that's easy to plug and unplug. And on the other end, what I will do is have clamps. So all I need to do now is go ahead and plug this into here. And the other end will be my, my clamps here for the battery. So this way you can, if you wanna unplug the battery and leave with it, you simply just pull on it and off you go. 
So that's the system. So we'll go ahead and install this and see how well that works and we'll follow up in a minute. Okay, so we've got our final test uh, set up here. So we've got a, the uh, solar panel connected to wires back to the controller. This controller, by the way, will handle both 12 and 24 volts. In this case, it goes uh, up to 20 amperes. So we've got much less than that since this is a 50 watt uh, solar panel. So we basically plugged it in and on the split side, as I mentioned, we've got a plug and this goes into the clamps to a battery. So this is a deep cycle. This is a lead type of battery, an older type. You can also, of course, use uh, lithium ion and you know stuff like that. So uh, what we can see from here is we can see how much amperage this solar panel gives out. We have very little sun right now, of course, as we're taping, we took a little too long and the sun went down, um, but we can also see uh, the voltage, the amperage uh, from both the solar panel and from the battery. So for example, here it's showing me with the PV uh, and the battery and showing me the temperature. And for example, my battery's at 14.2 uh, according to this. And so, and it also shows you the kilowatt hours. So how much you've produced from the solar panel to the battery. So I hope this was useful for you. Um, obviously you could mount this in numerous ways. You can put this directly onto the boat, for example, or you could put this on a board like we're probably going to be doing with this uh, next to it. So you can just plug in quite quickly and bring your solar panel in and out of the boat as needed and that should uh, to be it so please uh, leave some comments below we love to read those and of course you can visit us at www.ctobob.com i'm bob pellerin thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video